Hello friends, today I'm going to show you exactly how to make this VR headset that you've got with the Young Chronicle. So this is a typical Google Cardboard and you would have received this one big piece along with it the camera lens holders, the sorry not the camera lens, the VR lens holder and this is a nose piece. So I'll tell you exactly how you're going to use it and then we'll talk a little about the science of it. Okay, so these are your lenses. There is some Velcro and there is Fevicol. Okay, so now step one is essentially you need to take this piece, right, and you need to turn it. While you turn it, you also just prepare your lenses such that you can easily pull it out before the glue dries up. So this is an important part. The most important part of the lens so put a reasonable amount of glue and put glue and spread it uh, around the lens holes as well right so make sure that it's stuck properly don't put any glue on this side here there should be no glue over here I have sort of crossed it a little bit now uh, this is the important part. You need to do this correctly. Try not to touch the lens, but just gauge which side is flatter than the other. Touch it from the corners if you need to. So this is the flatter side and this is the outside side. So make sure that the flat side touches the bottom. Okay, and then you place your lens properly this way. I hope you can see it clearly. Actually do the checking from the plastic. This is a better way of doing it. I know that this side is the flatter side now. So that way your fingerprint doesn't you know it doesn't mess the lens up. Let's make it dirty. So you do this with the second lens as well. This fixing is important so try to center your lens and then you put this part there's a warning on this don't use this headset for more than five minutes due to eye strain typically also requires the lens to be fixed properly so that it causes less strain to your eyes now this is a slightly long step because you have to press it uh, enough to until the glue dries up. So the reason why we've used Fevicol and not a stronger glue is because a, it's children. Uh, we don't want to be, you know, um, since I don't know how much of you, how many of you will have parental supervision. So if you don't have parental supervision, Fevicol is the best. Otherwise, maybe you can use a stronger glue. But I would suggest you still use Fevicol so that, you know, if you want to shift things here and there and if it's not fixed properly, you can still change a couple of things. Okay, so don't check for alignment over here. Ensure that your lenses are aligned. Right? Now this is sort of drying up. As I press this, sorry, as I press this, uh, I need to bend this up. Through the fold lines. Okay, you would see some crease marks over here. So just bend. So your outer frame is going to be fixed like this. So I'm not going to bend it right away. There are crease, there are crease lines. You can fold them. Try and fold them straight. Ensure that you're folding them straight across the crease lines, along the crease lines. Right? There is a crease line here as well. So fold this. Fold this. Right, so it's going to come something like this. This is the top part. This is the bottom part. So let's... Now while sticking over here, right, just be very, very careful that you align your lines. Like... Because the mathematics behind lens, right, shouldn't the lens shouldn't get impacted. This line needs to be very well joined. 
minor here and there is okay. Press this portion. I'm putting glue on the outer parts of this. Right. It's okay if you get some glue on your hand as well. It's fine. It's only pebby coil. And that's the reason why we give pebby coil. So that you don't end up sticking your fingers because you know even the best of us are slightly clumsy this is the way it is going to be and just ensure that this lens is again straight you'll require to press this a little bit it needs to come here like this i don't know if i'm centered my video is centered or not but it needs to come here so you have time until the glue dries to set your thing, to set your inside cover, the lens part. And you hold it like this from behind. If you're seeing, you press it like this from behind. And try and ensure that it, this is a straight line. So you might have to push it from the sides a bit. Okay. Small, you'll need a small scissor here. Just make a small incision. Chota sa cut along the line, if you can see. Only till the fold. Because I'll tell you what we need to do. We need to do this and this. Open it up. I'm just looking for my black line that I made here. So this is the way your VR headset is going to look from when you actually see it. What you need to do is you would have got these two pieces of Velcro. So you need to stick them here. And one piece here. So you open it. This is where your mobile is going to come. Right, I'm recording with my mobile, so right now, okay. So what you do is, you ideally don't open it. You fix it up like this with Fevicol. If you want to, later on, you can, once you've fixed it, you can use staple pins as well. So don't open this. You use your Fevicol here. And then you use Fevicol over here, right? And now what you do is, you bend this portion up. And you stick it. And you stick it and you press. This portion now needs to be well dried before you attempt to even open the Velcro. Otherwise the Velcro will come off. A little bit. To get the glue all dried up and now these glue marks are sort of vanishing now I, all I need to do is use a dry cloth to ensure that there are no water marks as well that's all and you are you've got a sparkly brand new Google Cardboard VR headset made by yourself now all you need to do is, if you have a marker or a ballpoint pen, write who this VR headset belongs to. That's all. And what you need to do is, since you're using the Young Chronicle, fit, scan the QR codes uh, for the 360 degree videos on the Young Chronicle and put your phone over here, close it, and watch and have a wonderful virtual reality experience altogether.